Continental Airlines Flight 603 was a scheduled McDonnell Douglas DC-10 flight between Los Angeles International Airport and Honolulu International Airport. On March 1, 1978, it crashed during an aborted takeoff, resulting in the deaths of four passengers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft The aircraft involved in the accident was a McDonnell Douglas DC-1010, registered N68045, which had made its first flight in 1972. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Accident. The aircraft began its takeoff from Los Angeles International Airport at approximately 9.25 a.m. During the takeoff roll, the recapping tread of the number two tire on the left main landing gear separated from the tire and the resulting overload caused that tire to blow out. That in turn, imposed an overload on the number one tire on the same axle, resulting in a second blowout almost immediately after the first blowout. Pieces of metal from the rims of the failed tires then damaged the number five tire on the left main gear, causing it to also blow out. Although the captain who was operating his last flight before retirement initiated the abort procedure at 4 knots 7.4 kilometers per hour 4.6 miles per hour below V1 speed it became apparent the aircraft could not stop within the confines of the runway this was the direct result of the partial loss of braking power following the failure of the three tires on the left main gear, and also because the runway was wet. The captain steered the aircraft to go off the end of the right half of the runway in an effort to go beside the stanchions holding the runway lights, and thus avoid a collision with the approach light stanchions, which were positioned immediately beyond the end of the runway. About 100 feet 30 meters beyond the end of the runway, the left main gear broke through the non-load-bearing pavement, which caused it to collapse rearward. Portions of the failed gear punctured fuel tanks in the left wing, immediately starting a fuel fire on the left side. The aircraft slid to a stop approximately 664 feet 202 meters beyond the departure end of the runway. Because of the fire on the left side of the aircraft, all passengers evacuated on the right side. All four emergency evacuation slides on the right side of the aircraft were affected by the heat and failed at some point during the evacuation. Flight 603's flight crew and an off-duty pilot worked quickly to guide passengers to alternate exits as the slides failed. Actions later commended by the National Transportation Safety Board (NTSB) for saving lives and reducing the number of injuries. Passengers who were still on board after the last slide failed were forced to either jump to the ground, or use a slide rope deployed from the first officer's cockpit window. Of the 186 passengers and 14 crew on board, two passengers died sliding off the front edge of the wing during the evacuation. Moreover, 28 passengers and three crew members were seriously injured during the evacuation. Two of the seriously injured passengers died as a result of their injuries about three months later. Investigation During its investigation, the NTSB found the number two tire failed because it threw off its recapped tread. The number one tire then failed because it was overloaded and had fatigue in its ply structure. The number five tire then failed because it was hit with a piece or pieces of metal from either the number two or the number one wheel. The failure of that third tire on the left main gear probably contributed to the gear breaking through the non-load bearing pavement beyond the end of the runway, which in turn caused the gear to collapse and puncture the fuel tanks. 
Additionally, the NTSB stated, "...the tires on the aircraft may have been operated in the overdeflected condition, since the average inflation pressure was less than the optimum pressure for maximum gross weight." The NTSB made recommendations to the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, including that the FAA prohibit mounting on the same axle different models of tires which had different load-bearing characteristics and also that greater load-bearing characteristics be required in tires manufactured in the future. The NTSB also issued a series of recommendations regarding improvements to aircraft evacuation safety, including development of more durable and fire-resistant slides, and the placement of evacuation ropes at emergency exits for use in the event of slide failure. Aftermath After the investigation of this accident was completed, the FAA made a number of rule changes improving runway performance, including updated tire rating criteria, performance standards, and testing requirements. In addition, the FAA mandated changes to the design of evacuation slides to increase their capacity, improve fire resistance, and inflate at a quicker speed. See also Peruvian Airlines Flight 112 FedEx Express Flight 910 Notes <laughs>